Working with my wife who's my partner and also my son in the company has been one of the most rewarding and satisfying things in my life, but it's also been one of the most challenging by far. At the end of the day, Amber and I really wanted to build a business that was a legacy, a business that our family could carry on if they wanted to. And to do that, we knew we had to build it together. But there's been a lot of challenges along the way to be successful and to get to where we are today. And for us, it was a lot of trying to figure out how you separate both personal and business. There are many days that we would be in the car, you know, 12 hours a day going from job site to job site to job site. And we would get home at the end of the day and I would realize that even though I was with Amber, I never actually talked to Amber about Amber, about anything personal all day. And so we get home and I'd be like, I was with her all day, but I don't even know what she's doing. Like, it'd be so crazy. She'd be on the phones, I'd be on the phone driving. And I think it's so important that we had to find that separation. We had to find some personal time alone. So we scheduled date night. Well, date night was wonderful, except that we found that on date night, we were talking about business. And we said, we've got to find a way to have a personal life through all this. And we struggled. It was not an easy thing. There were sometimes we get in a fight at nighttime about something that was more on a personal nature, right? Well, what we find is that all of a sudden that personal fight would carry over to business. You married couples might know exactly what I'm talking about. So it was really important for us to try and find that separation in our business life and our personal life. You know, people have often said to Amber and I, you know, how in the world do two type A personalities like you get along, run a family, run multiple businesses? How do you do it and not kill each other? Truth is, we've almost killed each other many times. But our answer is that it took us four years of therapy that cost $25,000 week in, week out. And also we consumed a bit of wine to get us through those times. But that really is how we had to do it. The therapy helped us learn how to communicate. We had to figure out how to say to each other, what I'm saying now is business. It's not personal. Please don't take it personal. And over communicate what our feelings were about any given situation. It's so crucial that we did that. And so I would encourage anybody who is a couple out there that wants to get in business together, make sure that you have a strong relationship going in. Now, we didn't have a strong relationship. Amber and I were very much on rocky ground in the early days, 15 years ago. And so we were trying to figure out our own relationship while trying to figure out multiple business relationships. And that caused a major problem. And honestly, it almost blew up in our faces. We almost didn't make it. We had to get a professional to come in and help us learn how to talk to each other. So if you're already a solid couple, this will strengthen your relationship. And if you're a solid parent and child relationship or other sibling relationship or parent relationship, if you already have a strong relationship, being in business together will probably solidify and make that relationship even stronger. But if you are on shaky, rocky ground, I would warn you to be very cautious about going into business together until you get your relationship to a strong place. It took Amber and I a lot of therapy, a lot of counseling, a lot of loving each other and being patient with each other and figuring out how to make it work. If we hadn't have done that, we would not be here today. So please, if you go into business together, make sure you're already strong. And if you're not already strong, start getting stronger before you go into business together.